So Apple dropped the iOS 18 beta 3 last night and I was able to test out and play around with it. Here are my top 5 new features I discovered so far. Starting off with number 1, new flashlight interface. When you activate the flashlight or tap on the controls from the dynamic island, there is a larger and more intuitive interface for changing the brightness and the spread of the LED flashlight. I personally love this brand new interface. It makes you almost addicted to using flashlight. I love how you can spread it out and make your you know brightness brighter and darken it and also at the same time with without lifting your finger you can actually control the spread of your flashlight as well really good addition really good feature introduced by apple on the ios 18 beta 3 but moving on guys the second feature the new feature is the dark mode icons apple added dark mode icons for the third party apps finally so now they look even better in dark mode apple seems to be automatically adding dark mode icons to apps that have icons with a few colors for some other icons the secondary color becomes the primary color while the background turns black in other cases a white icon background changes to black and vice versa apps with complex multicolored icons though they don't switch to dark mode color right now but apple does darken them like reduces the brightness when the ios 18 is officially released to the public app developers will be able to provide their own dark tinted icons to replace the apple's defaults but moving on guys the next the third new feature on the ios 18 beta 3 is the new dynamic wallpaper so there's a dynamic version of the ios 18 wallpapers now that transitions throughout the different colors based on the time of the day in order to access this what you need to do is you need to go ahead and unlock your device and then just long press and then click on customize and then click on the lock screen and now in addition to the yellow pink azura purple you have something called dynamic which pretty much changes throughout the day based on the time of the day which is really really cool i am personally really fan of this new addition but moving on guys the next feature is the maps apple has once again tweaked the colors of the maps icon when the dark mode is activated this is a really nice addition it basically turns from the light green into a very darker and tinted a lower brightness green and as well as right here as you guys can see the purple or pinkish and yellowish turns down to gray to make the icon look a lot lower brightness and make it a lot more dark but next up number five emojis finally the emoji keyboard has been updated to display larger icons that are easier to see and tap this was one of my complaints to be able to you know access the icons it's a lot harder because it's all like jammed in one small space so finally we have a bigger more laid out larger icons uh, easier to press the emoji and find the one you're looking for in messages emojis memojis and stickers have been merged into basically a single interface which can be navigated using the small icons at the bottom of the screen you can tap these icons to access stickers or memojis and you can scroll through your emojis to quickly find specific characters and poses a lot more organized emoji keyboard really big fan of this but last but not least as a bonus the number six i would say is the in the photos app now instead of you scrolling up to make this select pop up by default the select button will pop up right next to the search bar and the search bar has this blue background to make it pop up better just small tweak but makes a big difference because before on the ios beta 2 ios 18 beta 2 you had to scroll up to make this select pop up to show up basically in your photo library but nonetheless very small update in a nutshell but very important update very welcome changes new features on the ios 18 beta 3 i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're new to my channel you know what to do subscribe down below so that you don't miss out any of the new ios beta updates and anything related to ios and if you like this video you know what to do please leave me a big thumbs up because it really helps the youtube channel out so that we can reach more people thanks again for watching i'll catch you guys next video in the meantime check out this video peace out